presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the September 10th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I don't want you to know that I'm coughing, but I do want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. And even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in, 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered. You can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question in, in our Tiger's Den. Any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, all the USNC is trading to the north. Everything is green, although slightly so. The Dow is up 11, the S&P 2, NASDAQ 100 is up 23, Russell's up 3, Semi's up 67, Tranny's up 63. The big mover has been the Semi's are up 67 points, up 2% out there. Lead the charge dollar-wise. The upside, you've got a firm holdings up 32 bucks. That's 35%. 53%. Is uh, Echo Global Logistics up sixteen dollars? Monolithic Power Systems up sixteen or three percent. Uh, Athena Bitcoin Global is up sixty-seven percent or thirteen bucks. No idea what that is. To the downside, it is Brain Salad Surgery Intuitive Surgical down forty-seven bucks or a little over four uh, percent. To the downside is Google at forty-two bucks, one and a half percent. Apelles Pharmaceuticals off thirty-nine percent, twenty-one bucks there. And Monday. Dot com on a Friday is down 5% or 20 bucks. So let's go to our first question, the only question that we have right now. This coming in earlier from, uh, oops, so oh, maybe there are some more, but let's uh, get to the first one here, David H. David writes in and says, Dr. Golfer, mm -hmm. based on uh, in some days uh, my uh, swing needs a uh, psychological doctor, not a medical doctor. In any event out here, uh, because it gets crazy, you know? In any event, the question is, uh, Dr. Golf, based on the charts, do you see BNTX trying to head up to 400 area next week? Uh, and uh, David is very specific. That's okay. We'll give David as specific an answer as we can. I'm just going to pull over the white background charts for you, David. And I think they will do the uh, trick for us. And we'll begin by looking at the daily time frame. So what you can see, David, by taking a look at this chart here, and this is what's really important to you, is you can see how the oscillator and change line, that's that green line that is on my screen, has acted as resistance. Now, price is testing that level today. So price is about, or it's right trading right at about the top of its daily price profile and ordinarily I would say to you hey you close above the top of that profile which I believe is at 353 no let me tell you what it is I don't want to screw that up it's 35484 uh as we came on the air price was trading just above that I believe that it was in any event uh the level that needs to be cleared in order to get up to any higher area you want to go to 400 um, I don't necessarily have that as a as a price target for any reason, but if price can close above 363.67, it's thereabouts. That number's going to change up and down. Call it 365 at this stage here to be safe. If price closes above that, David, then yes, price should continue higher. Will it get to 400? Look, its next swing point, its next price objective would be the August 23rd high. That's a 388 even Stephen. So that's the daily time frame. If you're long, I don't have any reason to suggest that you exit that position. Uh, just yet 
Uh, if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, price has also held key support. You can see it's into a bullish structured profile, but price is above that important green oscillator and change line. So it's really going to be down to that daily time frame. If I look at some intraday charts out here, just looking for anything of uh, major caution signs or anything like that. And I just don't see it as I flip through the uh, charts out here. So your real work inside of BNTX is going to be that green oscillator and change line. And I think we said for you, just from a safety standpoint, just call it about the 365 letter level. So, David, thanks so much for writing in, and uh, you have a, a great uh, weekend. Now, let me just, as long as I'm in the email section here, uh, no, I got many other emails, but none uh, from uh, folks uh, like yourself listening to the show that want me to take a look at anything. So let's go take a look at the general markets, get a feel for what's going on out here. Let's begin by taking a look at those four equity future contracts and their daily profiles. So what do we know? What we know about the ES Mini is there is an A to B equals CD to the upside. Uh, that got uh, derailed slightly last Friday when uh, the ES Mini formed bar number nine of a TD nine count. So the key level of resistance there is going to be 45, 49, 50. If price ever closes above that, what we should see is a move up to 4,600. At this stage here, yesterday there was a close below the top of the daily profile. That's 44.98 even. And a price close, and we're trading at 44.93. If price closes below 44.98, that increases the odds that the ES Mini will get down to test that key support level, 44.52 to 44.67 just simply because it's back inside the profile. And what I would add to that, in order for what I just said to have merit or be true or likely a likely outcome, you'd also need to see the spot volatilities close above its 50-day X bench moving average. You get those two components in there, back inside the profile on a daily basis above the 50-day X bench moving average, odds favor price pulls back to test those levels of support. The NQ last Friday also generated a TD9 count and price has just simply been trading sideways here. And now we have a new profile that formed three days ago, slightly bullish in structure. So its key level of support is 15,487 key level level of resistance is 15708. The Dow is the weakest of, uh, of these three so far that we're talking about. The Dow is the weaker. Now, weaker because price closed below the bottom of its daily profile yesterday. It is trading below that level today. That's at 34,949. And another close today would then open up the kimono to get down to the bottom of the weekly profile at 34,392. We take a look at the Russell 2000. If I scrunch it a little bit, you're going to see a nice sideways consolidation. That's the larger pattern that it's in. The smaller pattern, it too formed a TD9 count top last Friday. And price has just simply been testing its daily support level. Now, the daily support level, that began forming on Monday out here, a new profile. And so what you're watching for there is 22.4880. A close below that, you really need two consecutive closes below that. But if you did get a close below that, that would be suggesting the Russell could make its way down to the bottom of its larger consolidation pattern. So what's the summary of all this stuff? The ES Mini and the NQ are more neutral then they are anything else at this stage of the game because they're consolidated inside their daily profile with an existing topping signal. The Dow is weaker. Again, it closed below 34,949. It says you get down to at least a swing point from a couple of weeks ago, and why not just go explore the bottom of that weekly profile? And in the case of the Russell 2000, if it's going to get moving to the downside, it needs to close below 224880. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We're going to go to a break here. All the U.S. indices trading higher, although just slightly so by a few. And uh, we'd love to hear from you, folks. So give us a call. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago. And the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back. We've got a couple questions inside our Tiger's Den. The first one coming in from, uh, let's see here. The first one came in from SEBA. So let's go to that. That is uh, Apple. And let's get Apple up on the uh, screen out here. And as we take a look at Apple, it is trading right now below. There's a brand new bear structured profile SEBA that formed today. The top of that profile is, let me just turn off price. It'll be a little bit easier for you to see out here. We'll turn price back on momentarily. But you'll see, or I hope that you'll see, the, uh, the daily bear structured profile that is formed. So you've got support at 151.21. Price is trading underneath that. So that's a level you're going to want to watch both today and on Monday. But you can see the resistance level between 154.66 and 156.39. Now we got price on because the price was uh, um, uh, covering up the uh, bottom of that daily profile. Now, what also transpired here at this stage is that we can see that price just pulled back the test and so far has rejected the top of the weekly profile. So the real key level for Apple, Steve, I would say would be that $150 level. That is the top of that weekly profile. That doesn't mean that there's not some kind of turn because price is below the bottom of the day. Let's pull over the white background charts, see what we have out here. And what we can see is that a couple of days ago, Apple confirmed a Rhodes Mintum indicator topping signal when it generated that dark cloud cover. Yesterday, price closed close below the bottom of that uh, oscillator and change line. And then when you close below that, that typically says you go down and test the bottom of the daily profile. Well, in fact, that's what it has transpired so far. Now, if price can hold this 151.21 level, um, you won't have any kind of a change in trend signal. Of course, you and I have agreed to take a look at 150 as being that possible change in trend signal, and that's the top of the weekly profile. As we take a look at the weekly chart out here, in addition to holding the top of the day, a weekly profile, price is also holding its green oscillator and change line. 
We, had, we do at this stage here have a weekly Roge momentum indicator signal because of a dark cloud cover candle. We won't be able to confirm this candle formation until today's close. But let's just assume this was the close. What does this mean? This means on a weekly basis, see, but we have a neutral signal. Why? Because price is still above two key levels of resistance, which are now we use those as support. And that's the top of the profile at 150 and its oscillator unchanged line. If I look at a 30 minute time frame chart out here, look for any kind of uh, signals. All I've got is an A to B equals CD to the downside. So it's more than a one to one that formed. And uh, this uh, Apple loves piercing candles. So this confirmed at 1230 with a bullish piercing candle. Price is inside its profile. Looks to be relatively evenly distributed. Uh, and what that would suggest to me, Steve, is we should see a bounce up to that oscillator and change line. Well, the top of the 30 minute profile is 152.09. So that is where price is likely headed to. When I say likely headed to, it needs to get above the center of the profile because right now inside this 30 minute range, price in essence is at fair value. Fair value is where both buyers and sellers believe that price is fairly valued in between the current profile. Well, on a 30 minute basis, that's between 149.38 and 152.09. If price can clear that level, then that favors price making its way up to that 152.09 area. And if price can get above that, then you could be looking to move up to 155.40. So you've got a uh, buy the D point or a Gartley buy point, a Gartley buy pattern, however you want to uh, take a look at it. And uh, it's just going to be important on the close today as well as Monday, but certainly the close today may reveal a bunch of information to you, Siva. So I hope that that helps. Uh, that gives you the information that you're looking for. If not, just go ahead and uh, ping me or type in another message inside the den, and we'll make sure that we get uh, the information that you need. The second request coming from the uh, Tiger's Den is from um, Zippity Duda. Zip wants to take a look at uh, Google. So G O G is the ticker symbol here. Let's begin with these white background charts out here. We don't even know about Google. Google right now is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. In fact, it's kind of a small A to B equals CD, but it is an A to B equals CD. It probably shows up better on the intraday charts, but your A point would be September 1st. Your B point would be September 3rd. And uh, really, your C point is today's high. So uh, the one to one, basically, it's, it's really kind of hit it. If you will, that doesn't mean that this is where Google stops, but it is an A to B equals CD. And uh, that says that if there's a bullish reversal candle, then you've got your Gartley buy pattern. The next level to the downside, 28.36, then 28.13, followed by 27.87. That's the 1.272, then the 1.618, and then the 2.0 expansion uh, of that. So that's what we see when we take a look at the daily chart. Weekly and monthly not assisting us at this stage here. Profiles are way down lower, so let's not uh, focus there. Let's take a look at the white background charts out here. And what we see, Zip, on a daily basis, we have a confirmed road momentum indicator top. That confirmed looks like maybe last week, uh, Thursday or Friday, with the shooting star candle, September the 1st. I think that might have been, well, I don't know when that was. That was uh, September 1st. So there's, there's your confirmed top. Now with price uh, below the bottom of its profile, th this says price could head down to 25.35. Because that A to B equals CD pattern, what you're looking for here is some type of bullish reversal candle. And I'm sure, like I said, I mentioned, we can see these on the intraday charts. Here's a 30-minute time frame chart. Uh, no bullish reversal signal here. So I'd be watching the short-term time frame charts for any kind of signals from uh, Google out there ticker symbol g double o g uh price is below let's see if there's any kind of topping signal on the weekly and uh, i do have wave number seven as one potential pattern out here but um let me look at the monthly real quickly for google no topping signal there so the daily says this price could certainly move lower i'd be looking for that bullish reversal candle or depending on how uh, aggressive you are, I'd be looking at the short-term time frame charts that have those A to B equals CD patterns as well. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. Let's go out to uh, Mark in Fort Collins. Mark, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Good. How are you? Excellent. Thanks so much for asking. And uh, you want to take a look at Cassava Sciences out here. Uh, tell the folks what you're what you're doing and how I can help you. Well, I am not in it. I've played it for a nice profit before. Um, it looks like it completed a one-to-one -one ABC down. The Yes, um, and I'm looking to see if it holds the low of 827, 49.29 is the price. Um, if it holds that today, I'm thinking of just playing it for a dead cat bounce. Got it. Let me know what your so, thoughts are. So you're not in it. Uh, you, nope. you mentioned 827, which was that high volume day. 
So if this closes above that low of 49.29 and you're at 5061, uh, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna enter a trade or you're gonna stay in a trade that maybe you just got into. Uh, no, I, I am not in one. I was thinking about getting into one. I was wondering what your got thoughts it. are. Okay, okay. So you can see the A to B equals C D pattern, which gave us a price projection, folks, of forty five thirty five. So we are so Mark is absolutely right on that. There's an A to B equals C D pattern, and uh, the question is, you know, where is price headed to from here? And so one resistance level. And you're talking about potentially playing this as a counter trend rally. So one of the first counter trend moves, and I'm not using that, I'm not using retracement levels or anything, is simply the bottom of the daily profile that price closed below. Now at that bottom, and Cassava Sciences, uh, that was both the bottom and the center. So that's a strong level that should have held. So what we don't know, actually what we do know is so far this has has acted as a resistance point. So 5670, probably something you have to factor into your decision making, whether it is worth the reward risk. Let me pull over my white background charts out here. And what we're going to have, uh, we had two weeks ago, was a close below its bull structured weekly profile. Um, last week, the same. This week, the same. Let's pull over the white background charts and see if Mark and I can spot any kind of other bottom signals. And the one bottom signal that pops up to us right away is as price was making that low two days ago, that was the bar following bar number nine of a TD nine count pattern. So this suggests when you do get a confirmed TD nine count pattern, Mark, price should make its way up to its oscillator and change line. So stay with us. We'll come back from this break and we'll go take a look at Saba, S-A-V-A, -A, with Mark and Fort Collins. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with uh, Mark in Fort Collins, uh, Colorado. We're taking a look at uh, Cassava Sciences. S-A-V-A is the uh, ticker symbol. And as we were going into that break, uh, we were noticing on the daily time frame chart a, uh, a confirmed TD9 count bottom. And uh, so now what we're looking for is the battleground levels out here. And so, again, those battleground levels, the bottom of that profile mark that uh, I had mentioned before at 5670, that's also where the red oscillator and change line is, is at approximately. It's at really at 5803. So that's the level. If you're going to play this as a counter trend move, that's the area that you're watching. Now, if price can close above that, get back inside the profile, you know, then you're looking at a potential move to 7151. Anything above that would be 9663. But right now, your first battle should you take this trade is going to be at the 5803 level any questions about the daily chart or anything that no, we've that, that's kind of what i was thinking i go i, I was thinking it would be a five to six dollar potential move up with a, a pretty tight stop below that 49.29 low so. perfect and, and what we're going to do to assist you in trying to make that trade is we're going to go look at the intraday charts out here okay uh to see what kind of signals they have but before we do that the weekly did confirm a roadsman indicator top and price is now down below the bottom of that bullish structured profile. And on a weekly basis, what Cassava Sciences is, is suggesting to you and I is the real buy area is around 3605. That's a TD9 okay. count breakout area. So, so longer term, you know, if Cassava could get down there and we get some type of bottoming signal on the daily time frame, that would be the more ultimate type pattern. Don't know whether that will fulfill itself or not. The weekly chart. Uh, I'm sorry, the monthly chart shows that price right now is testing a key level of support. That's 48.35. So that, Mark, I think would be your first clue. A close below 48.35 would be signaling, okay, we get back to that uh, weekly TD9 breakout area. Any questions there? Nope. That's good info. info. Thanks. Perfect. So now let's look at the intraday time frames. On the intraday time frame, we can see on a 15-minute basis this bottom with a TD9 count and a top with a TD9 count. That top was at about 10 o'clock in the morning. That was uh, today, as a matter of fact. And now price is just consolidating with inside its bullish structured profile. So, and I don't know that you'll get this be between now and the close, but this is suggesting to us that the buy area is between 49.43 and 49.84. I don't know if that, uh, you know, 70, 80 cents is, is important to you or not, but that's the suggestion there. And anything below that, the ultimate buy on a 50-minute chart would be at 48.60. That's the TD9 breakout level. Any questions on the 15-minute chart? No, nope. that's good. Perfect. The 30-minute chart, and I'm sure the 15-minute had it too, is an A to B equals CD to the upside. And that completed when we got this dark cloud cover at 1030. Now, here's the here's the kind of the rub. Because that oscillator and change line, I don't know if any of these intraday time frames are ones that you typically prefer. But if they are, then kind of focus in on that time frame out here. And on a 30-minute basis, after forming that A to B equals CD pattern and this oscillator and change line having changed colors, our price target would have been that OUL. It did test it and reject it. It did that between 12 and 12.30, uh, and that's a bullish test. So I don't know if it, you know whether you prefer the 30 or the 15-minute chart. Each has a slightly different signal out here. And just to throw on the 65-minute chart, that's a bullish-looking chart pattern. The 130 says if you can close above uh, 51.19, that says more rally. The 195 says you should run out of steam at about 58.77. So what questions do any of these intraday charts pose? Uh, none really. Those are those are all good levels to, to kind of keep an eye on. I'm just kind of sitting on the sideline watching it and trying to decide if uh, if it's worth the, the $5 potential move. And, uh, and so, um, yeah, I'd prefer it, for it to get down to that uh, uh, okay. 30, that 30, 30 level you were talking about, obviously. Yeah, so I'd say that I'd, uh, here's how I'd, I'd kind of take a look at it. No, we're you know we're going into the close. It's still kind of a holiday weekend and and everything. Uh, all the September 11th uh, recognition uh, stuff going on, and based upon the way the 30-minute chart is trading, it looks to me like this is going to continue to move sideways or higher during the rest of the day, and and not necessarily move lower. Uh, but of course, I, 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 that's just based upon the chart patterns on the 30-minute time frame that we're taking a look at. So, okay. hope that helps you out. That does. Thank you. Hey, you bet. Always good to talk to you. That was Mark in Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, I, I, there's a request that came in 
by uh, a couple of requests that have come in by email. Let me get to uh, these here. Uh, Wayne writes in, and he wants to take a look at uh, Tesla. T-S-L-A, obviously, is the uh, ticker symbol. And you are looking for a short-term, one-week, and mid-term, three- to four-week support and resistance. Any thoughts on Hood? Uh, is a Wall Street keeping it down because clients destroyed the hedge funds? So I, I don't know the answer to that. But uh, with regard to Tesla, um, Tesla's dealing with resistance right now. And its resistance level is the top of the weekly profile, Wayne. And that is at 757.41. It's testing that this week as we speak. If price can close above that, then you will be above the daily, weekly, and monthly profiles out there, which from a profile perspective would be uh, bullish. Let me didn't uh, pay attention to what I was doing. I didn't get Tesla fired up on my white background charts, but we'll get that here momentarily. So it's just that the the, the, the real resistance level for you is 757.49. You were asking about support as well. So support, if resistance holds on the weekly basis, support will become the top of the daily profile. And that's at 726.94. Not that there can't be other support levels below that, such as 707 or 687. So I just gave you those two as well. But 726.94 is really its uh, next level of support on any move lower. If we look at the daily time frame on the white background charts, it sells. It says to you and I, Wayne, that 745 60-ish or so is a level of support. And if price can hold that area, um, it needs to clear the swing point from April 14th, which is 780.79. And if price can do that, then uh, Tesla will form uh, A to B equals CD to the upside, which is already really present, and go target its breakdown level of 877.77. So that's what we see when we take a look at the daily. The weekly chart here for Tesla, we've already discussed how price is up at resistance. It's going to be bar number seven, so you're not looking at a topping signal here, just a consolidation pattern. And you can see it's very clear the consolidation pattern inside of Tesla. So if it can't clear this area, Wayne, uh, you can see Tesla move all the way back down to the bottom, which is the bottom of that bullish structured weekly profile in the 570 to 593 area. On a short term time frame chart, such as a 30, we just have a sideways consolidation. No levels of support right now being broken. That would take place if there was a close below 750.107. It's a 30 minute bullish structured profile. So if you did close two consecutive closes below that, that would be generating a signal for you. Otherwise, that is your support level. So, Wayne, that is uh, Tesla. You asked about Hood, H O O D. Let's go take a look at uh, Hood and um, just see what it uh, generates for us on the daily time frame as far as signals. Not, not a ton of data out here. I don't have a bottoming pattern on the uh, daily time frame. No reason to go take a look at the weekly. And I'll just look at a 30-minute intraday chart. You've got wave number seven that identified the bottom. That was at 11 o'clock uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, two days ago. And you've got an A to B. Eh, it's really just a consolidation is what you've got out here in Hood. Now, I'm just looking at a 30-minute time frame chart. The daily didn't provide us with much information. So the only information that I can legitimately provide you with is here so you can see the 30 minute consolidation or I hope that you can see it uh, about like this and so what Hood would do if you're looking at playing this is if it breaks it to the upside by breaking it to the upside you'd be looking at a close above 42.54 and you would end up with that uh, measured move that measured move to the upside inside of Wood would take it to about the $45 level. So, Wayne, I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing and have a fantastic weekend. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. 
With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. You got the Dow down 30. The other U.S. indices traded to the upside. Of course, the S&P is flat up 18 cents right now. Let's go to our next question. Uh, next question coming in from a, a Tiger Den. Uh, this one coming in from Satish. Satish wants to take a look at uh, GPN. So let's go take a look at it. First, find out what GPN is. And it's looking for a buy point. So we're looking for a support level. This is global payments. So interesting here. So Satish... <clears throat> Price, uh, you can see this had a real breakout, probably why you're looking at it. Real breakout on the uh, with volume, wide price spread, accelerated volume, the whole bit, everything that Tom looks for uh, from September the 8th. And now today, price is pulling back and is testing the top of its daily profile. It's a new profile that formed yesterday. So, Satish, this could be a level of support. We'll go look at a short-term time frame chart to see if there is something that confirms that. Price is below the weekly profile, and if uh, if price did close below 158.34, the signal there would be a move down to 150.43. So let's pull over GPN and to see if we get any kind of better feel. So this also generated... Um, ah, so price also ran into resistance right at his TD9 breakdown level, 172 even Steven. So look at that. Um, what do you do? So the, the 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 entry levels into this are either this morning at that 165.15 or 166.80 right now, or about 160.80, the oscillator and change line. Let's look at the short-term time frame charts. We, uh, well, uh, here, let me, what's the weekly show us? Weekly doesn't have any kind of signal for us, so... Mm, you know, I, I say that, but I'm pausing here because uh, there is an A to B equals CD to the downside, and this may have completed it. So uh, let's just uh, measure... Yeah. So what this has, Satish, you can see it. You have a confirmed by the D point on the weekly time frame. No level of support, or I should say, your level of support is 137.99. But back to the daily, yeah, so okay, so you got the breakout. Intraday, let's look at a 30 minute chart out here. So intraday, I don't, uh, I take that back, you've got another buy the D point out here. It looks like probably about a one to two buy the D point, but you've got it right at its breakout level, 166.53. But what price hasn't done here is take out any level of support. I'm sorry, uh, any level of resistance. It's tested support. 
But if you get too close below 166.53, that's not a good sign. 60-minute um, chart out here. Just tap it on these. So 10-minute, 15-minute. I'm just looking at it. So I don't have really great bottoming signals here. Uh, I'm going to suggest that the way that the intraday charts are trading is that you be a little bit patient. Be a little bit patient. See if you can get this thing to pull back further. And you're looking in that 160, 77, 160, 243 type area. So I hope that helps you out with regard to uh, GPN. And uh, maybe let's take a look at this again on, on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, so I hope that that does help you out, Satish. Thanks so much for writing in. Next question, we've gotten through everything in the Tiger's Den. Next question coming from Eddie in Boca. Eddie wants to look at uh, Moderna, M-R-N-A. And Eddie writes in, are you aware that Apple dropped because uh, judge is ruling on it? Uh, yes. Uh, and I was trying to find out inside the Tiger's Den. I asked the question as well if this was just a, a lower court uh, ruling. You know, or was this a uh, appellate court uh, type? Uh, because if it's just a lower court ruling, uh, you know, I know, everybody knows that Apple will appeal this. Um, absolutely. So, you know, is it a big deal? I, you know, I don't know. I haven't read it or anything. But uh, if this is a lower court ruling, I, I can guarantee you that this will be appealed by Apple. And this thing will go on for Lord knows how long. So let's get back to Eddie's uh, other uh information or request out here, which is take a look at Moderna. MRNA is the ticker symbol. Trade above the top of its daily and weekly profile. Close above 440.81 would be strong. That message would suggest moving up into test, even on light volume, the August 9th high. That's in the 497.49 level. So again, a close this week above 440.81 uh, would be a bullish outcome. As we look at the white background charts, you're only in bar number six of a TD9 count. That says it wants higher price. If I look at the weekly chart out here from Moderna, uh, this looks uh, bullish, bar number seven of a TD9 count. No problems there. No problems on the monthly uh, time frame chart. Whoops, sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do this, so yeah, no problems on the monthly chart. So Moderna looks uh, pretty good out there. Eddie, your second request was to take a look at NVIDIA. Let's just pull over the white background charts here. And as we take a look at its daily time frame on NVIDIA, just trading sideways after uh, completing a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top out here. Right now, the consolidation level, Eddie's between 217 and 227. But price could still get down to 211. That's a support area. 199 is another support area. Uh, so you've got a, a top just to be concerned with. Uh, but uh, the price action has just been a sideways move. On the weekly chart out here, uh, everything looks hunky-dory. And on a 30-minute time frame chart, yeah, I don't have anything. I've got a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. And it doesn't look like I have one yet to the upside out here. So uh, with regard to NVIDIA, uh, its charts uh, look pretty good. But just anticipate a consolidation at this stage because the roads momentum indicator top on the daily time frame. And we'd say that consolidation level is between 211 and 227. So thanks so much for writing in. I hope that helps you out and have a, a fantastic weekend. Let's see if we've got any other requests out here. Um, but do, 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 do. yeah, we have one, uh, two more. We've got uh, one from uh, Rich. Rich wants to take a look at, can you look at uh, UPST? So uh, we can. Let me get uh, UPST fired up uh, on the white background charts. Let's go take a look at its market profiles. And UPST is upstart holdings. Trading above its daily, weekly, and monthly profiles out here. So everything looks good. We've got a way tier rich for my other charts to uh, pull up. In the meantime, I'll just quickly uh, peek over at the second symbol you were asking about, DLO. And let's see what DLO is doing. That is uh, consolidating with inside its daily profile. 62.54 support, 73.43 is resistance. Not traded long enough to generate any profile levels on the uh, weekly or the monthly time frame. Let's go back to upstart. And take a look at Upstart and go back to its daily charts. And then the daily chart out here, we're looking for any kind of a, a signal. Today is going to form bar number eight of a TD9 count. So, Rich, you could see a top that forms between today and Tuesday. The top would only be of significance to you if you get a close below Stevie's Green Line. That's currently printing at 262.08. Where could price head to if that unfolds? 213.90, the top of the daily profile, would be the price target. On a weekly basis out here, 
Yeah, no, no signals or anything, so it looks good. So really the daily time frame is what it is that you're most interested in. On a 30-minute basis, for example, on an intraday level, uh, what uh, we can see is a Rhodes Mentum indicator top, and it's attempting to form a TD9 count, but price is going to have to get below between now, 150. Uh, so price is going to have to get below 270.05, and that'll have to occur between 2 p.m. and be nine and 230 and if that doesn't happen you don't have a valid bottoming signal out here and price might be at, at going down to the 265 20 level close below 265 20 says you're headed even lower and that gets you to that 262 ish range the oscillator and change line so rich thanks so much for writing in hope that helps you out and have a, a fantastic weekend Steve Rhodes with tfnn we'll be back in just a few minutes Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So I think we're going to finish off the show with Hector and Patty. They are the fuel injectors for this show out here. And Hector uh, wants to take a look at uh, Newmont Mining. Mr. Bill asked a question about the A to B equal CD line that I've got drawn in here for Newmont Mining that would take price down to the 5103 level. But before that happens, there's other work that needs to be done. So Hector is interested in potentially loading up the truck on this. 
uh, and going long. He likes the light volume that he sees today. And uh, what you'd really like to see, and we haven't seen that, maybe you get it by day's end, is actually a test and the rejection of that August 20th swing point. So here's the insanity. The high of that trading session, 56.95. The low today, 56.96. One penny, one dollar, Mortimer. So what we don't have out here, I know it's pulling back on light volume, but it's also below the bottom of its daily profile out there. Unless you get that test out here. Mm, mm. If you got that test, I could understand it, and we put that together with the weekly profile, which is slightly bullish in structure. That just formed this week, and support there is 57.01. So you'd sure like to see that test out there. Um, David White might have a different take on uh, being one penny away. I don't know, or Tom might have that. So uh, Hector and Patty, maybe you want to write into them as well to get uh, their take. But it, it has escaped that uh, test by one penny. So, you know, is that the time to back up the truck? Maybe not. You know, I'd look at the 30 minute chart, which we'll do right now. You do have a bottoming signal here, but price has been unable to take out resistance. It's first level of resistance at 57.37. I'd sure prefer to see that, Hector, at least a signal, some type of potential bottom. 65 minute chart out here as we look at it, nothing to indicate a bottom, at least over the past, of course, couple of days out here the same thing on the 130 so you know i see what you're looking at i'm gonna suggest uh just uh holding off but to see if uh polar maybe he's listening he might be able to provide you with that information i'll be one penny away from this week whether that in his experience makes a difference folks have a fantastic friday a great weekend be safe out there i'll look forward to seeing you on magnificent catch tomorrow this monday have a great weekend take care